I want to uh, properly introduce myself. My name is Jackie, and uh, I have uh, I have uh, many years of experience in uh, teaching Module C in the past. And uh, so, in case you uh, don't know, uh, we today we are having class on Module Module Thirteen. So this is uh, what we call the new QP uh, by the HACPA. Now uh, changed the name to Module Thirteen. And uh, that is on business assurance. So uh, basically, we will be talking about audit in the uh, undergoing ten lectures. All right. So uh, I want to have a quick introduction of the materials you should have uh, with you. Uh, first of all, this is uh, an exam guide. Okay, what I call an exam guide, and uh, this is about one hundred and sixty pages. So this is actually a essential summary of all the things that I think you will need in the examination so uh, basically I turn in uh, almost thousand pages uh, learning pack into this uh, 160 pages notes so uh, basically if you ask me I will say this is this package this exam guide uh, if you go for it thoroughly it will you will it will be enough for you to attempt the exam and uh, go to pass okay so and, and I will go through some of the items here and uh, basically most of the items in this exam guide is trying to teach you how to tackle the exam question properly okay it gives you all the guidance you need to how to answer the question uh, there's not a lot of knowledge here only essential knowledge of this course is being covered in this exam guide uh, so for certain area if you want to uh, for your own uh, knowledge purpose or for uh, a more thorough understanding of the module you may need to refer back to uh, your LP for some for further information but for exam purposes this exam guide is more than enough and uh, 160 something pages is not uh, it's a lot for you to cover already okay and uh, this exam guide uh, will be most of it is the answering approach you will be using the answering approach in this exam guide to tackle different exam question and therefore uh, I also provided you with another uh, set of notes this is the question bank and uh, in this question bank you will find uh, a, a past paper analysis for uh, all the topics and uh, in the past of years here of the exam question and uh, I've included all the case question here and for short question purposes I only selected some uh, short question that I think uh, is good for you to uh, when to go through during revision some of the short question um, I will go through or some short question here in this question bank during the during during this course but uh, most of the time we will be covering on us uh, the learning pack question so just you should have the third set of notes okay this is the exam practice question from the learning pack which is actually directly referring to your candidate learning pack of uh, module 13 okay so first of all I want you to take a look at the exam guide first exam guide and uh, exam guide I want to go to the content page so the first page of the exam guide here the contents uh, you can see uh, these are the topics the topics that you will be examined okay so my approach here for module 13 is that I will need you to familiar wise with all these topics and you have particular question and answer that you need to pick out from the exam guys and put it in your answer so first of all when you look at any question the first thing you need to pinpoint or identify is the what topic or topics that question belongs to and then you will apply the essential knowledge and uh, the exam technique I tell you regarding that particular topics to plan and write your answer this is very important because in this examination over 90 percent of the time you think you got the answer correct in fact you didn't the reason is that you picked the answer of a wrong topic and you put it in your answer and you write down a lot of things in examination you thought that you have passed the exam but actually i can say if you haven't have a proper training regarding the examination probably over 15 percent over 50 percent of the things you write down in the 
in your answer booklet actually score you nothing. Okay, so in order for you to ensure yourself to pass the exam, you need to understand the indication in the each question regarding these topics. Therefore, I will be uh, doing this ten lecture. I basically will be following this sequence. Okay, I will start with code of ethics and then acceptance and continuous question, and then go on and on regarding uh, uh, following my exam guide. And when we finish the whole exam guide, you should be able to tackle any question in the exam. So the first thing you need to do after today's lecture and uh, before the next, I will want you to at least scan through this lecture topics, have a basic understanding of uh, of the item. So when I go into the question details, you will immediately know that what I'm talking about. Because uh, we only have 10 lecture, so this is basically a revision course. I'm teaching you how to tackle exam question directly. I will not be spending a lot of time to going through knowledge related items regarding this topic. So I will need to, you to prepare yourself on some basic knowledge regarding each topic. Okay? And if you feel that you can't uh, understand each topic enough with my exam guide, you may refer to the learning pack, but uh, actually I will ask I will still ask you to focus on the exam guide first. As as long as you understand all the basic principles at least in the exam guide, you should be able to tackle the question without looking at the learning pack at all. Okay? I guarantee I guarantee you this. Okay? So let's not waste time. We'll start with our first topic on code of ethics. Okay?